Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you swatches and a tutorial of this look right here using the Urban Decay Elements palette. If you like tutorials, please consider subscribing because I do them along with makeup reviews, hauls, and swatches here on my channel every Saturday. Now during the whole Sephora holiday, well it was a, all the makeup brands and stores it seems like were having crazy sales over the Christmas holiday season and you know I bought quite a few palettes and I had hoped that I would slow down after the last palettes I showed you in my last holiday haul eyeshadow palette edition. Well, it was on that video <laughs> in the comments section when a subscriber was responding to another subscriber in the comments and she mentioned to the young lady that the Urban Decay Elements palette was on sale and she got 75% off of it at Sephora. And so when I saw that, I was like, girl, what? Okay, let me just go to the website and see what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the Sephora website and sure enough, they had the Elements palette on sale at 50% off. So this palette retailed for $52 when it launched and then Sephora had it for $26. And then during that sale period where they were having 20% off all sale items, you got an extra 20% off the 50%. So. I ended up getting this palette for 70% off, which amounted to approximately $22. Yes, hunty, yes. So, um, you know, I have a problem. Okay, I've, I've admitted that. It's been well documented here on this channel, but I blame this one on that subscriber who shall remain nameless, Celeste Celestial. I'm blaming you for this. <laughs> But thank you girl for the heads up <laughs> because this palette is beautiful. This is what the box looks like. And if there were awards for best makeup product packaging, in my opinion, Urban Decay would win out hands down every year because their package is always, their packaging is always gorgeous. You get the color, the shadow colors here and the names on the back and the ingredients. And then that is the front, which is just beautiful. Doesn't it scream holiday? And then this is the palette. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. That's the back and it's big and it's round. So for those of you that don't like big palettes or palettes that will be difficult to store, you might not like this one. It is plastic and it has the push button closure. And when you open it, these, you get a big mirror, and then these are the shadows inside. And you get 19 eyeshadows, which is kind of an unusual number for um, an eyeshadow palette. That white one in the middle is a transformer shade, and when you swatch it, it kind of has, it's white but with like pinkish lavender reflect in it, and you're supposed to be able to take that shade and put it on top of other eyeshadows and it transforms them. So you have um, regular size shadow pans, it looks like, on the outside, on the perimeter, and then inside you have these much smaller eyeshadow pans, which I'm not a fan of. I prefer all my eyeshadows to be standard sized, please. <laughs> and then you have the names of the shadows in the palette, which can be difficult to read because of the background. But the shadows are beautiful. Um, there are only though three mattes in this palette and one of them is kind of like a satin matte with some shimmer in it. I don't know why brands continue to do that. I'm pretty, I think we've been pretty clear that we don't like or want that but they keep doing it. So if you're someone that likes a bigger, a better balance and ratio between matte and shimmer shadows then this palette might not be for you either. But if you don't mind that, and clearly I don't, <laughs> I think these shades in here are beautiful. And when I first saw this palette, these two shades right here, the, the, the two blues, definitely reminded me of the Urban Decay Christian Leanne palette because in this palette they have this, these two beautiful blues. 
and so I went on ahead you can see those two blues I don't know what my lights but those are the two blue eyeshadows and because I thought they were similar I went on ahead and swatched them and sure enough they're basically the same this is TRM in the Christian Leanne palette and this is Sapphire Dream in the Elements palette and this is LCW in the Christian Leanne palette and this is Heavy Water in the Elements palette. Now, if you would like to see how I achieved this look today using the Urban Decay Elements palette, then keep on watching. I'm starting off with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the anti-aging one, and everything that I mentioned will be listed in the description box below. And now I'm gonna go into the Elements palette and I'm taking Antidote, and that's going under the brow. Um, it's so similar and so light. It's so similar to my skin tone that that was kind of unnecessary. So I went in with Elemental and I'm taking that into the crease. And that's a nice warm brown. Very similar to the NYX eyeshadow that I normally would put in my crease. And I'm just going back and forth. I believe this is a Sigma E35 brush. And now I'm going to take fool's gold which is this really beautiful like lime green gold shade and i apologize for the blurriness i'm gonna have to start filming a little further back from the camera but i'm taking i believe that's a delium tools brush probably like a 772 and i'm just this i use this shadow wet all of the shimmer shades i used wet and i'm putting that on the first inner third of my eyelid and I keep going back and forth there in the crease because I want to make it sort of sharp and crisp there sort of like cutting the crease and now I'm going in with secret keeper and I'm going to place that right next to that fool's gold and I'm going to blend the two sort of together so that they look like they blend seamlessly together and I'm going to put this on the mobile eyelid predominantly and I like how these two shades went together pretty well now I'm taking earthbound and it's this beautiful darker foresty green shade and I'm going to blend that into that secret keeper and on the outer lid and I'm leaving just a little area there on the outer V area bare because I'm going to go in to the palette and take that beautiful blue shade sapphire dream and I'm going to put it right there tuck it right there into that outer V area using my real techniques um what brush is this shadow brush that's what it is <laughs> this is my tried and true brush for my outer v area and i'm going to blend that into that green and now i'm taking elemental once again and i'm going into the crease i really didn't want to darken up my crease i really didn't want to add any color but i did want to blend out those um eyeshadows just a bit to make sure they all blend seamlessly together in the crease and now i'm going back in with antidote and then I'm just cleaning up the fallout, which wasn't a lot. You do get a bit of kick up in the pan, though, but I didn't get a whole hell of a lot of fallout. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Freak, and that's going in my lower lash line. Love, love that shade. And now I'm going back in with the blue and using this brush because I was lazy, didn't want to clean another brush, and it's too daggone big. And you see, I got it in my waterline, which changed the color. And then I went in with that purple shade and didn't realize I wasn't filming. So that's why it looks like I have it on my lid already because I did. And I'm using Fool's Gold again, this time in the inner corner to serve as my inner corner highlight. I used my Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the number 77 to do the wing, which got a little away from me this time because I'm using a new eyeliner brush. So uh, I used my Kiss Faux Mink Lashes in the style Little Black Dress. And I really love how this look came out. It's one of the most favorite that I've done thus far. And I finished off the entire look today with a neutral lip. Of course, I was 
tempted to do a green lip <laughs> green teal lip <laughs> but i reined it in and i went neutral so of course i use my mac chestnut lip liner and then my mac styled in sepia lipstick um which is discontinued it was limited edition i'm sorry i keep using this lipstick and that you can't get anymore but it's just so good it's my perfect nude shade um perhaps i need to go through my collection and find something similar that is available so that if you guys are interested in this shade you can pick it up as well and then on top of that i used my fenty beauty diamond milk gloss balm i did not expect to like this lip gloss as much as I do but I really like it it's just it's kind of like a clear lip gloss just amped up a little bit with a little bit of shimmer or sparkle in it which you don't feel on your lips at all and it just makes the lips look wet and I like wearing it by itself with the lip liner or over lipsticks regular bullet lipsticks or liquid lipsticks it's just really beautiful and I really really like it and that is it for today I am very happy thus far with my Urban Decay Elements palette it's beautiful on the inside and the outside and it kind of screams holiday to me the colors in it I like shimmer metallic shades you know that's my jam so <laughs> I have no problem with the um, imbalance between the mattes and the shimmer shades I have plenty of mattes in other palettes that I don't mind using if need be and I'm looking forward I, I feel like you can get a lot of different looks with this palette some people I've seen have said that it's very the shades in here are very similar to those in the Urban Decay Born to Run palette I don't have that palette so um, I'm guessing I'm getting similar shades to that palette so I'm really um, looking forward to using this and creating a whole bunch of more looks with it if you would like to see any more looks with this palette please by all means let me know in the comments below and I will get that out to you if you like this video today please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I do tutorials first impressions swatches hauls and makeup reviews here on my channel every Saturday I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.